Good morning, everyone. My name is John Carbo. I work at Attainment Company, and this morning we're going to take a very quick look at our latest app, Go Talk Everywhere. I'm going to start with this, this fun little uh, video we recently put together. Make sure the volume's up. Go Talk Everywhere. Recently got quite the heavy snowfall back home in Wisconsin, so it just kind of helped me put this uh, cute video together. I'm going to quick switch back over to my iPad, so bear with me just a moment. So for those of you unfamiliar, we are the developers of the Go Talk Now app, which has been around for just over 10 years. Uh, it's an iPad-only app, but very like full-featured, uh, um, one of our flagship AAC products. And what we are looking at today is Go Talk Everywhere. We call it Go Talk Everywhere because it works everywhere you go. It works on iOS, it works on Android, it works on phones, it works on tablets, and you can run it in a web browser as well. For as long as I've been in attainment, people have been asking, so, you know, we love Go Talk now, when's it coming to Android? Well, we finally, these 10 years later, have an answer. So, uh, Go Talk Everywhere. Um, again, it's a multi-platform app. Everything that you make is synced and saved in the cloud. So whatever you make on one device will work on another. So if I'm making changes here on my iPad, I pull out an Android phone and I log in with my account, it will automatically sync and receive those latest updates. Uh, because we uh, also work on the web, the, this app does work on Chromebooks as well. So we know how popular Chromebooks are in schools, so this is just another option to give uh, those kiddos without a voice an option to communicate. Uh, it's a little, it, so this is GoTalk Everywhere. It is a separate app from GoTalk now. Um, it really kind of focuses on those AAC essentials. It has grids that ha you can have different orientations. It does text-to-speech. You can uh, do recorded audio. It comes with a built-in image library, the attainment image library. It also, uh, you can import your own photos. You can also grab images from the web as well. And then another cool feature about it that we'll look at in just a few minutes is uh, when you use this app through our attainment hub, which is kind of our online portal for our different apps, a teacher or SLP can manage their students or their clients' books remotely. So they can log on on their computer, make changes, and again, when that student logs in the next time, they will see those changes. So I'm just going, right now, this is the main menu of the app. These are different communication books that we have. And I'm just going to head into this first one. So this one, we've got a grid of eight. While these are uh, clearly photographs, these are also part of our attainment image library. When I tap on one on this screen, we have the op you know a few different recorded audios. And my iPad lacks the uh, aux out cord, unfortunately, but we'll get a little bit of audio when I switch over to my laptop later. But that does play recorded audio messages. It does text to speech. We use Amazon's Poly Voice. Buttons can also navigate. Uh, so this one has, you know, a different grid size. This is uh, one that just uses six buttons. So as I mentioned, everything is synced in the cloud. We are integrated with Amazon servers, so everything is stored on an S3 server. We use uh, Amazon Poly text-to-speech voices, which have a nice natural sound to them. We also recognize how important privacy is these days. And when you hear the word, you know, stored in the cloud, people are understandably, you know, have a little trepidation about that. The web version, the one that runs in your web browser, is currently COPA and FERPA compliant. And the Android and iOS versions, we are in the middle of that process now and anticipate that we will be certified before long. 
you can use your own photos. So anything that you have saved on your device, uh, you can add into that. And again, since it's synced in the cloud, when I, you know, that photo will appear no matter what device I'm on. Really excited that we finally have a multi-platform option. Um, we know that there are so many different devices out there, so it's nice to kind of open those doors for more people to uh, you know, have an opportunity to express themselves. Currently, the app is in English and Spanish. Uh, German will be coming shortly. Our GoTalk Now app is very popular in Germany, so that may seem a little on the random side, but we are going to continually add more and more languages as time goes on. So again, you can have differing grid sizes. You can just have one button that fills the whole screen. You can have two. So the app is capable of growing along with you the more that you use it. All the way up to a grid of 30, which um, when designing this app, we kept in mind that we want it to look good on phones. It also will work in portrait as well. So it will live update to whatever orientation you're holding it in which is a nice handy feature. I'm going to head back out to the main menu and just give a quick little taste of what it's like to create your own buttons. So down in the lower left corner we've got this little icon, the uh, manage books icon. This is where you would go to enter in through the editor. I'll just hit the big edit button down in the bottom. And now I'm in the editor. We have a few cues just so you know where you are in the app. It says edit down at the bottom. The buttons have changed from orange to red. From here, I can change the grid. You, to, just to add a new button, you just have to tap on one. You can type in a message. There is a little like mountain icon up in the corner that this is where you can you know, browse our symbol library. You can uh, add pictures from the internet as well. And again, everything is stored online, so the app is doing all kinds of like really complicated stuff under the hood. Like this was a really great team effort back at Attainment. Uh, a lot of our engineers were learning new skills working on this, and it, it's nice when all the things that we've learned here will only make our other products better going forward too. We've really learned a lot in this process. So this has been a really fun one to work on. But I can just select one of these images. You can change the font. We've got a few different font choices available. You can change the color. You can change the background color of a button and the border. The app is also fully scanning uh, capable. We know for those switch users out there how important scanning is, so that is something that we have built into the app as well. I'll just, if you want to rearrange buttons, you can just drag them around with your finger, which is pretty handy. Um, and then when you want to make a new page, there is, a, in the lower right corner, the little stack of pages, I can just go ahead and make a new page. You can add page titles, you can add images to the, page, you know, to the pages as well. So for those of you familiar with GoTalk now, there is a lot of similarity here, but again, with this app, we focused more on those essentials, just that, that text-to-speech, the recorded audio, one image per button. Uh, but really, really cool that we're able to have something for Android and something that you can carry in your pocket as well. Heading back out to the main menu. Test my uh, multitasking abilities here. I'm going to head to the Manage Book screen again just to show some of the options that we have there. You can duplicate books. That's the little the stack of pages down in the bottom. The uh, trash can lets you delete books. You can share books across devices. Uh, the initial implementation of this is it will upload your book to a secure server. You put a, you, uh, an a there's an access code that's generated and you put a password on it and that will live on our servers for 24 hours and then will automatically be deleted. 
So you can share across devices. Uh, coming in version two, we are exploring the option of kind of peer-to-peer -peer broadcasting. So if you are in the same space and you have your iPad and your Android phone, for example, you can just broadcast those wirely regardless of, even though they're on different platforms. And I'm just going to quick switch over to my laptop here. So as I kind of mentioned earlier, another one of the really cool features with this app is that a teacher or SLP can manage a caseload or a classroom. And that is via the Attainment Hub. The Attainment Hub is a uh, website that you log into for uh, any people that are using attainment curricula, all of our downloadable resources are accessed via the hub. This is also a, a launching platform for our various web-based software. We've got a lot of software that is a, basically a digital version of some of our curricula in reading and math and social studies programs. GoTalk Everywhere now fits into that. But when you launch the, uh, excuse me, when you launch GoTalk Everywhere from the hub, this one looks a little different. We've got the drop down at the top of the screen that, where you can view all of the students that are connected to you as a teacher. So you can go in and directly edit anything that they have. And if I go to the book management screen, I can also, as a teacher SLP, I have my own collection of books. But we have this new icon down here, copy to student where I can send a book that I have created for myself to my entire classroom at once. And again, the next time they log in, they will um, see those books and have access to them. Given that this is a, you know, everything is online with GoTalk Everywhere, this is a subscription product. So when I say like logging in, like each per person does have a username and password. However, you really only need to enter it once and the app will remember that every time you log in. So you can just launch the app, it'll do the login process automatically, and then land you right on that book browser screen that we were looking at a moment ago. So that, in a nutshell, is GoTalk Everywhere. It just launched on Wednesday. You can find it in the Google Play Store. You can find it in the App Store uh, on iOS. Also, if you're an Attainment Hub user, we'll have it on our free trials tab shortly. You'll notice the app, there is just one free version of the app that lets you make a book with up to five pages, but then uh, signing up for that uh, yearly subscription will unlock the full features of the app. Are there any questions out there? Yes. Sure, so the question is, if you make pages in GoTalk now, will they transfer to this one? Unfortunately, not at the moment. That is something that we are looking into. Um, but this is, even though it is a GoTalk, it is a separate app. And GoTalk now, for example, does, uh, is a little bit more fully featured than this. It has scene pages and video, so it's not, it's not quite a one-to-one -one comparison. But we are exploring the option of, in GoTalk now, being able to export a book that GoTalk everywhere could read. Any other questions? Yes. Can, the, the question is, can you make a visual scene uh, with GoTalk Everywhere? No, we are just using grids. And one thing I uh, neglected to show is that this app also does have the express bar from GoTalk Now, which is basically like a, uh, a sentence strip where you can have multiple buttons go up and you can create a full sentence as well. <laughs> yes, another question? Yeah, so the, the question is, like, when I use the term book, what does that mean? That's just kind of the metaphor that we use, like, that a communication book 
has a collection of communication pages. So what we were seeing before is a, when this loads, so this first one labeled SLP, that is one book. That book can, there's no limit to the number of pages, so you can make it very complex. But then if just for organization or if you want a different book for a different student, that is a separate book with different pages. Does that answer your question? Great. Any other questions? Well, thank you all so much for joining us on this Saturday morning, bright and early. We are at booth 306 in the exhibit hall. We are here until 3 o'clock today, so if you'd like to see more, please come by and talk to us.